This week is National Painting Week. A new study shows that two and three homeowners are planning on a painting project in the upcoming year. And it's amazing what a little color can do to renovate a space. Here to talk with us today about just that is TV design star Paige Davis. Thanks for joining us this morning, Paige. My pleasure, Kelly. Well, I've always enjoyed watching you on Trading Spaces. If you've certainly seen your share of paint projects, tell us what's the first step to painting a room. <laughs> Well, the first step to painting a room, of course, is preparation, and that means preparing uh, to have all the supplies that you need, thinking ahead, getting the advice on how to do it, but also preparation includes having a vision of what you want as well. Um, if you can see the end in mind, it's much easier to get started, and there's so many ways to do that. You know, having a mood board is a really great idea, a way to do that. You know, plot out the things that you like, see if it looks good, just on a small board first, and it'll help you envision the rest of it. Um, but it's the best way and the most fun way to update your space is to just add a lot of color. Uh, there was a national home color survey, and we discovered that people really want to add color to their homes, which is so exciting for me because I've spent so many years mm -hmm. having homeowners say, I just want neutrals and I just want it to be calm. So the fact that um, there's a lot of color that people want is exciting. And Sherwin Williams is really excited to hear that news, and that's why we've partnered together. And uh, we've been talking about National Painting Week. This is the second annual National Painting Week, which I can't believe it. All these uh, home <laughs> shows have started like an entire national rage, which is that's just really terrific. Cool. Um, and this is such a great time to get started because it's the spring and it's the warm month, so it makes painting and doing projects and even going out shopping really easy. Very good. Well, you've mentioned this board over here where you can kind of put all your pieces together to see if it looks good on a small space. And kind of on that note, sometimes colors can look different from that little color card to painting an entire wall. So yeah. how can you be sure that that's the color you want? <laughs> Well, color can be daunting, it's true. You're looking at a, well, a thing that's, what, this big, an inch by inch? Mm -hmm. um, but you can get sample paints. You know, you don't have to buy a whole, like, gallon of paint. You can buy a little um, quart. Sometimes they even have samples that are smaller, uh, not quart, uh, pint, or sometimes even smaller. And uh, it's really good to paint, like, foam core boards. You can get a few different colors of sort of around the range that you want, and then you put those boards up in your home um, and leave them up. So you want to see what it looks like during the morning, during the afternoon light, at night with your lights turned on in your house, so that you can see the effect that it has in your own home as opposed to what it looks like in the bright lights of a home improvement store, right? Very, That's very one good. really, really great tip. Well, also, now I think it's important to know that... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Kelly. I was going to say, out of oh, all I was going to say, it's important. Out of all of the tips that you have heard over the many years that you've been doing this, what do you think is the number one painting tip? The number one painting tip is to be prepared, but the other wonderful tip is to be bold. And the best news about this survey is that people want to be. Um, with National Painting Week, you can go to nationalpaintingweek.com and you can check out all of these other projects that bloggers are putting up there and get inspiration from them. Don't be afraid. See what they've done. See how they've done it. People aren't just painting their walls. They're painting furniture. They're buying accessories, colorful accessories. Um, Go to nationalpaintingweek.com and you'll have all the inspiration that you need. Very good. Thank you so much again, Ms. Paige Davis, for giving us some wonderful design tips this morning. I hope that inspires all of our viewers to really be bold and get to those design projects they've been putting off for a very long time. You guys make sure to stick with us.